Greetings, trophy hunters. This is Brian English and PS5 Trophies. I'm going to show you the all the collectibles in Jackson. This is the first chapter of The Last of Us Part 2. We're going to do a chapter by chapter. Uh, first, I want to say welcome back to some of you. Uh, check out my channel once or twice a year. So in case you haven't noticed, yes, I did change the channel name. All right, so we are in the sub-chapter Waking Up. Now, we're going to get to this crossroads of this town. You're going to see there's a dog in the, in the intersection there. And I just really quickly want to show you, uh, under the accessibilities, if you want to go to Magnificent, and visual aids, you can turn on the high contrast display and you'll easily find the collectibles. However, I do have to warn you that it really, really breaks the immersion of this game, so don't use it. Uh, follow this guide. In fact, when you play this game for the first time, don't watch this video or any other videos. Just play through the game. Get collectibles if you need to. But you can see when you turn on the magnification mode, you can just swipe left on your touchpad to actually change back and forth between the two modes. Again, I highly don't, I highly recommend you don't use it. So that is the first trading card. Now we are just a little bit down the road. We're going to find an artifact. Now we're going to follow our uh, companion here. He's going to go in towards the, the bar to the left. Instead, we're going to go behind the logs here on the right, and we're going to find uh, an artifact next to this ladder. The artifacts are basically documents for the most part. So apparently just simple notes we used to write each other back in the old days are considered artifacts. I don't know. All right, so now we're going to head into the bar where we're supposed to go. And then after a brief cutscene, head over towards the dartboard. You'll find a trading card just to the left of it. And that'll do it for the three collectibles in the Waking Up subchapter of Jackson. Now we are going to head over to the Overlook, and there's only one collectible. You're going to be crawling underneath a house, and once you get out the other side, we're actually going to circle back around and go back into the house in a new section. You can go through this first window here, or just go directly in the second back one here, and then you'll see the artifact. I don't know why I'm going to just do an air melee swing, you know, style points maybe. But anyways, that is the one collectible in the Overlook. Now we're going to go to the patrol, and there's 12 collectibles here. And you and Dina are going to have a cutscene here. As soon as it ends, you're going to be able to walk up to where you were just over uh, looking across the, uh, the way there. And you can trigger the journal entry. You see uh, Ellie will take out the book and start writing in the journal. Next up is going to be an artifact. Like uh, the next section you're going to come to, you're going to have a road, you're going to have some houses on the left and the right, and you're going to see this trailer here in the center. There's some goodies in there for you if you'd like them. But I'm going to go to the first house on the left, and then go up, and then we're going to find an uh, artifact right next to the bed. And once I've done this, I'm going to then go across the street to get a trading card. Tonight? think about Okay, so I just left that house, and I'm going to go across the street, looking at the car right in front of me. And I'm going to jump up through the window up to the second floor. Now, if you get up here before Dina, just go ahead and grab the trading card. Uh, if she's just kind of walking around up here, she'll actually grab it and then hand it to you. All right, so we're going to get another artifact here in patrol. What we're doing is crawling underneath a, a, a tractor trailer. And you're going to get ambushed by an enemy. You can see the remains of him there. We're going to circle around and go inside the truck we just climbed under. You're supposed to climb on top of it from the, the, the cab and then walk across the top. But you have to come inside of here to get the artifact first. Speaking of artifacts, we have another one. So after you crawl across the top of that trailer, you drop down in here. There's going to be a spore area here. So you're going to have your mask on, I guess, even though you're immune. Maybe Dina doesn't know. I don't know. Anyways, inside of here, you're going to see an artifact here in the corner. And right next to it is going to be a safe. Now, I'm going to give you the code. But if you want to get the code, uh, it's just outside. you got to look at the employee of the month wall, find out what month. Uh, his best friend, who happens to be a dog in the picture. Uh, once you figure that out, you're just going to come over to the safe and then enter in the month and year, so seven. I think it's 2013. I believe. I don't know how good my memory is. I'm not very good. I can tell you that with certainty. Oh, shit. Open that up. Oh, shit, it worked. Says Ellie. We're going to go ahead and grab some parts and supplements. And then we are going to go off and get an artifact after the... I don't know why it took so long to grab those. All right, so now we're going to be in the, a, a new store. We're in a bookstore. And we're going to just kind of go all the way to the back. This is Story Path here. Yep. 
jump in through this office here, and then as you go through this door here, you'll actually get a Firefly pendant for Eugene Linden. Definitely Eugene's place. All right, next up, we're going to have a journal entry. Uh, this is going to be right around the corner. We're just going to look for a stuffed toy, one that may look familiar to you. There it is, a giraffe. We're going to interact with that, add that to our journal entry. And then we're going to stay in this area. I'm going to just turn around, go about 20 meters behind me. We're going to go in through this doorway here, and we'll find the trading card right on the desk. All right, so in the same area, we are actually going to go to the opposite side of the room. We are heading close to our very first workbench, but first we're going to go to this drawer, pull out this artifact, and then right behind us is going to be another one. So I'm going to turn around, and it's going to be a picture. You're going to... It's an interesting picture. I like it. I won't spoil anything. This is going to be as much spoiler-free as possible. That is Tommy and Eugene, though. Okay, so I mentioned a moment ago a workbench. So you're going to go grab an item for the quest line, and then basically it's a tutorial. You're not going to be able to miss this workbench. But you do need to find all the workbenches, so I'm throwing them in here. All right, so now we are in the packing up section, uh, subchapter. Now we're going to be inside this house, and we're going to go to the back, into the kitchen here in the back left corner from where you enter. And we're going to grab this owl mug, and then we are going to write into our journal thus letting us know that it was a proper journal entry. All right, two more here. We're going to go upstairs. Once you go up the stairs, go into the first room you come to. You'll find a journal entry by interacting with this guitar over here on the right side of the room. Now, once you've done that, all you're going to do is go into the bedroom, the main bedroom, open up this box, and you will get a watch and then also something else. So that is going to do it for Chapter 1. This is Jackson. I will see you guys in Seattle.